various aspects of Asian physical culture. These exercises that we're going to be doing for about the next 10 minutes are basic Chinese therapeutic exercise. Can you bounce your knees lightly, please? Spring your knee and swing your hands easy. Good. These are a series of exercises that I'm about to show you. I learned from my first Tai Chi instructor. Uh, I began my study of Tai Chi in 1977 with a gentleman from Hong Kong who was a traditional Chinese acupuncturist and herbalist. And he used these exercises as a part of his Tai Chi class process. And the main point in Tai Chi motion is that we want to be able to relax into the motion. The whole study of Tai Chi Chuan, Tai Chi, I'll talk more about this as a term, Chuan means fist. Chuan in Chinese uh, connotes a martial art. So Tai Chi Chuan, which is the art that I study, is the art of combining yin and yang. Are you all familiar with the basic yin-yang symbol? Yes? Yeah. Okay? Those of you who don't know the yin-yang symbol, it's the circle, right? Half of it's black, half of it's white. There's a black dot in the middle of the white field, and there's a white dot in the middle of the black field. This, what we call the yin-yang symbol in Chinese, is called Tai Chi. And Tai Chi is a fundamental concept in Asian culture. Tai Chi is the graphic representation of oppositional energies combined and coordinated into a balanced expression. I'll talk much more about Tai Chi as a philosophical, cosmological worldview as the class progresses. But suffice it to say, within the relaxation component of Tai Chi exercise, there is an energy component as well. The energy feeling that you want to be having right now is that you have a relaxed and free swinging momentum that you create through a light bounce in the knee. Characteristics of Tai Chi motion, they are relaxed motions. They are fluid motions. They are circular motions. And generally speaking, they're quite slow. Can you take a slightly wider step and turn your toes out slightly? Can you bounce your knees in the second position? This is called the horse riding step or the horse stance. And this is a basic power training stance for many different styles of Asian Kung Fu. Kung Fu is an interesting term. Swing your hands to the side, please. Kung Fu, which we here in the West uh, think specifically refers to martial arts, Kung Fu is an interesting term in Chinese. Kung Fu really means the achievement of technique through long practice. Gong meaning work and Fu meaning technique. So Kung Fu can apply to many different things. For example, if you were a skilled chicken plucker, you could say that your chicken plucking gung fu was quite good. So gung fu is a term, a general term, meaning achievement of technique through practice. As I slow the motion down, can you coordinate your pace with my pace, please? Very good. Now I'm going to ask you to begin to coordinate your breath with the motion. Exhale completely. Take a deep breath in. Slower than that, please. Now exhale as you sink down. Good. General notes for the breathing. Always breathe in through the nose. Slow your exhale down by blowing a thin stream of air silently from between the lips. The inhale is fine. Inhale deep. Inhale long. Exhale slow, steady, unhurried, and even. Try it again. Take a deep breath in. Extend and relax the frame open. Blow a thin stream of air. Exhale and sink down. The seven character breathing formula in traditional Chinese therapeutic breathing exercise. Inhale fine. Inhale deep. Inhale long. Exhale slow. Steady. Unhurried and even. These seven words. The first four words apply, first three words apply to the inhale process. Fine, deep, and long. Exhale, slow, steady, unhurried, and even. 
Try and link the motions with your breath. Inhale, extend and open the frame. Exhale, sink down and relax. Keep your body vertical, please. Do this three more times. Inhale, fill the body up with fresh air, as much fresh air as you can breathe in. Blow a thin stream of air silently from between your lips and exhale, sinking down. Two more times, please. Inhale, fine, deep, long. Coordinate the extension process with the inhale process. Exhale, combine the sinking process with the exhaling process. One more time. Inhale, extend. Bring your hands forward. This next exercise is a basic leg strengthening exercise. Exhale and sink down. Again, trying to coordinate your breath with the motion. Inhale on the way up, slowly. Good. This concept of linking the breath with the motion is a fundamental concept. And indeed, the study of breath and how it works in the body is the foundation of many different styles of Chinese Kung Fu, not just Chinese Kung Fu, but Asian martial arts in general. This concept of breath and breath energy. So take a deep breath in and feel the breath energy filling your body, permeating and rising. We want the palms to mirror the motion of the breath energy in the body. Exhale, can you feel your breath energy sinking? Very good. Inhale and rise up. This concept of breath and breath energy permeates Asian culture. And I'll talk more about this in a minute, the importance of breath and breath energy. Suffice it to say for the time being, turn your toes in, we want the palms to mirror the motion of the breath energy in the body. Can you exhale and gently push the breath energy down? Pull your heels in. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Feel the breath energy rising in the body frame. Top of the inhale, turn your toes in. Feet are parallel and shoulder width. Exhale, sink it back down. Good, continuing to coordinate your breath with the motion. Inhale, some of you might have to pull your heels in. Stand up nice and tall. Feel the breath energy rising in the body frame. Turn your toes in again. Now are your feet shoulder width apart and parallel. Exhale, sink the breath energy down. We're gonna be doing this motion for a few minutes, so just relax into it, please.